So a lot of kayak anglers that started with the Ultralight 403 and then they switched to the 1103, notice that it's a heavier motor. And it is, it's, it's a lot more powerful, durable, quiet. So many advantages of using this more substantial electric outboard. And uh, when we developed the, the motor lift function on this, we realized that what we had set up for the 403 wasn't enough to lift the 1103. That being said, if you can curl a 20 pound dumbbell, can you do that? You can lift the 403 or the 1103. You can lift both of them. You know, it's, it requires a little bit of arm strength, a little bit of bicep to, to lift that up and, uh, and setting it up the right way. That being said, I am gonna set up, because a lot of people have asked, what about using pulleys back there? Um, I've resisted doing it because it's just not needed. Um, you know, you, you should have enough arm strength, and if you don't, maybe you should go back to paddling and develop some arm strength. Um, but I actually found an instance where I needed help lifting the motor in its current state. We're going to go over how it should be set up. You know, using the stock parts that, that come with the 1103, uh, that it really shouldn't be any any trouble for you to lift that because uh, it, it weighs less than you know than it, it requires less arm strength than doing dumbbell curls with 20 pounds. Um, <clears throat> the application that I have where I need more power is when I am standing up. If I'm standing up, the ergonomics of it reaching down and kind of pulling back it's not totally easy so i'm going to show you how to do that using some harkin pulleys and some other parts modifying the uh the mount to really make this super easy um but before we do that we're going to go over the uh showing you the way that it should be set up and then we'll go into the modifications that i'm doing to make it easier for me to lift that motor while I'm standing up. So I've been teaching how to do this setup on lots of different boats. Here's the uh, the Sholey, and I got the, the tape tube below. Got a Wilderness Systems attack there. Somewhere in the back there's a uh, Hobie Outback and there's other boats underneath this. But generally the concept is that you have a cleat and this is not the cleat that it comes with um, that you have a directional pull towards you in the seat which which you know that bicep curl motion towards you or, or more appropriately it's more like an upright row um, it, it does come towards you so the cleats gonna be facing that way um, in this case I used instead of the the u-bolt that it that the Torquedo comes with, I used the uh, tie-down eyelet. So there's a there's a doubling back at the front and at the back we're going to go look at the Osprey. This doubling back occurs as the, the motor lift cord comes forward. It comes to this eyelet, goes up to a carabiner, and then ends where you just tie an overhand knot through that little tab. So the doubling back here and up at the front is how you gain that, that leverage advantage. The reason why I didn't like the concept of putting, putting pulleys in here is you're just eating up space, which in a way you're eating up the distance that this motor can, the tip of this can come down and that diminishes how high the motor can lift. If, if you have it down here, it's still dragging on the grass. If you're in a real grass area, um, you really want it to get as high as possible. But I'm gonna try this because I've had enough people that have asked, hey, what about pulleys? We did try pulleys. Um, a single pulley doesn't really give you enough of a leverage advantage, but a double pulley does. And as, as I just said, the disadvantage of a double pulley 
is that it eats up the distance the motor lift bar can come down and eats up how high the motor, the, the nose cone of the motor can lift out of the water. But we're gonna try to overcome those. Um, let's take a look at some of the Harkin parts that I got recently at a, at a shop up in uh, Ontario that I visited, Bogue Marine. I picked up a bunch of stuff apparently. So I grabbed a bunch of different stuff. There's a run stat, a run stand, but most of the parking stuff. And uh, you know, ultimately, there's hardware to get it on there. Ultimately, I think what I want to do is get this guy and put it somewhere in here and uh, and then get one of these and make it so it'll hook hook in there quickly and replace that that carabiner so we'll see I'm gonna go find the uh, the tap and die set pull this uh, pull this bracket off and uh, you know see if we can can modify it and make it uh, make it easier to lift so the first step is getting this style Harkin pulley. What's the model number on this? Just so you have it. 16 millimeter anti-capsize MWL 250 pounds. Whatever all that means. This is it. If you go to a, a shop that specializes in sailing rigging, you'll find this kind of stuff. So. I've already tapped some holes and I'm actually just going to center it right here and I'll go ahead and put that on there. You know, this is actually a, this mold, or mold, this mount is one that I've been working with a long time. You see that? See that? Some German writing. It says V1. So this was the original um, prototype mount for the ultralight 1103 and you can see i've done this before in different positions so this is not a new idea it's just one that we ultimately abandoned in figuring out that the carabiner at the top of the motor lift bar was pretty much the same as putting up at least one pulley when we went to two it was a little bit easier um, but really not worth the complication of rigging, but here and there I'm finding people that say I still want it. So hence this video. So this, I got the front one in. The rear one needs a fresh hole. So we're going to tap this one out right where it wants to sit, right about there. With that securely placed and that has a little bit of wiggle room being on that that sort of hardware there all right so I'll go ahead and show my mistake I uh, used the wrong tap had to do some janky stuff but I got it in there uh, we have we have the uh, the pulley there but I had to put backing hardware on because, well, I just, I used the wrong tap, but I had to drill out spaces underneath. You can't really see that for the hardware to fit in this lovely plate that Trey Leach made. Trey, Trey does things the right way. I do the things, I do things uh, proof of concept way, the janky way. So, that's on there. Uh, I am gonna keep, you know, the, the tie-down eyelets that I've been using in place. I'm actually replacing the old um, cord. This has actually been reused on four different kayaks. It's just time to retire it. Um, you can get new sections of cord if you reach out to Torquedo Service Service underscore USA at torquedo.com. They have the stuff. Um, if you need it, 
you know, you can replace it with parachute cord and it's not gonna hold up like the stuff you get with the, uh, the Torquedo, uh, with the original. So this is something else that hasn't really held up. Um, it, I mean, I should say, this Yak Attack Stealth Pulley, it's a plastic piece and it has held up for, I think I've had this plate on two different kayaks and had a lot of use. So for what I've asked it to do, I think it's done well for what it is, but you can see that wheel is starting to chunk up. So I'm taking that off. That was sitting here and I'm gonna replace it with one of the Harkin pulleys. See how it does. I'm just gonna put it up there somehow. I think I'm using the hardware from the stealth pulley just to kind of pin that in place. I'll get that going and then um, I got a new handle. Uh, nice folks at Front Neck. If I can dig around here and find it. They had, um, when we did the install on the NAR, uh, they had some extra handles because I forgot to bring my PVC pipe. My half inch PVC pipe. Let me see if I can find that thing in my decked drawers. Anyhow, it's just a nicer handle. That's one half of it. So it's a carry handle for a sea kayak. So I'm gonna use that. There's a little cover for it instead of the, um, the PVC pipe that I've been using. So these are all, a lot of the upgrades that I've, I've talked with our, our engineers in Germany, like, hey, we need to have a wider handle and some other things, but uh, things that I've band-aided along the way, but we'll see how this, uh, how smooth I get once I run the, uh, the fresh line through there. Good handle. We'll take a look at it here in just a moment. So I'm almost ready to put the last pulley on, and this is the one that goes up onto the, the top of the motor lift bar. This one I think I'm gonna use, there's the, not a Harkin, but this one's a Ronstan. Um, I'm not hard fixing it too there. I gotta cut that off. Um, but instead, what I wanna do is to have it quickly go on like this, I know, I think that's going to stay if I keep that tension, if I have it, if I cut the line just right. But that's a very nice time saving kind of thing where you're not, you're not fussing around with that, that carabiner where you put it in. It's just a quick, it's just a hook. And uh, there is a Harkin version. It's, it's a little more shallow. This one actually curves back. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, before I do that, I want to go over a, a physics concept. Let me put that there for now. Of longer levers. And it, it plays into making it 
an easier, more difficult lift. So with, this is the rocker, with, um, with regard to how deep you go, it's, uh, you're, you're gonna set your, your prop depth, you know, how deep this is in the water. And generally, you know, if you're in, if you're in deep water, you want this prop deep because you're gonna be going over waves. And as the back of the, back of the boat lifts up out of, as you roll over a wave, this prop may ha you know, start to, people say cavitate, but the correct term is ventilate, where it goes and, and incorporates air into the propeller uh, area. And that's, that's where you lose power. So you do want it deep in deeper water, but if you work in shallow water, um, like right now, a bunch of my buddies are up fishing the Hobie Bass Open series, or at least they've been pre-fishing with their motors and uh, they've been grinding their way through shallow water. With that setting, and that's where, you know, I'll probably fish there or some snakehead fishery. You know, you adjust whatever piece is immediately above the, uh, the, the rocker here. And right now it's set for deep water. Um, probably because I was on some lake up in Canada last. But I'm going to move this down. And really what that does is it lengthens how much, um, how much higher the, the tip of the, you know, the motor lift bar is. So if it's longer from here to the, to the top, and I don't have my camera set up where you can see my hands on the top of the, where, where we attach that, that upper um, pulley, longer levers make this easier. Whereas if it's short, it's a shorter lever and it requires a little more force, right? So, easy. Difficult, okay? So that should help. And, and honestly, you can, you, can keep, you can keep this in place and basically you wanna keep your, um, the ring clamp that you have the motor lift bar attached as high on the on the um, metal portion of this. You don't want it messing with the, the black portion because that is a, uh, a waterproof gasket that keeps water from coming in the entire pylon. So hopefully that concept makes sense and you can keep the length from your pivot drum to the tip of your motor lift bar as long as possible for even easier lifting. All right, last little bit, put it through this one with the, the hook up top. So you can't really see up front, but I have the handle, I'll get footage of it. Uh, the handle very close to the cleat that I'm using at the front. This is nice and taut. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off just enough to do that overhand knot. Put it through that little tab. Lift that down, tie this knot, and then I'm done and we can test it and see what this feels like. Nice. Moment of truth here, new handle, new pulleys, new board, ooh, it is smooth. So, the, the application that I had for doing this was standing. So, this is really, you know, as I'm standing, oh yeah, that's gonna come up super easy. Lead it from standing well that's another issue but yes this is super easy let's see what that looks like looking easy good I'm happy I could do it the other way I mean with the stock stuff it's not that hard but if you want to spend 
I don't know, 85 to 100 dollars in Harkin pulleys and find a better handle. Yeah, you can do this too. Hopefully that helps some folks. See ya.